here. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to our power planning for Sunday night. It is already March 7th. We are one whole week into March. I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's going to fly by, like everything's going to fly by. Um, I am going to kick off like I always do with rate of run. And I'm going to explain everything like I always do because you just never know who's on here for the first time. So what you're going to do, what we how we like to start our power planning, at least how I like to start it on Sunday, is um, I want to know where my team's at for the month so far and what we're on track to do because and that's going to help guide me in my decisions of how I work to produce more business. And so what I do for that is you're going to go into your cloud. So hopefully you guys all have a secondary device. We haven't really talked about that a lot lately when we post these, just been kind of assuming people know, but I shouldn't. So hopefully if you're watching the Zoom on your computer, you can use your phone or maybe you have a tablet or something that you can get into. So you're gonna log into your cloud and just there on that very first main page, you're gonna go down to where it says the business snapshot. And under qualifications, you're gonna see something called current QV. That is the total volume that you and everyone under you, your, all of your downline, all of your downline's customers, that is the total that they have done so far this month. So you're gonna take that dollar amount and you're gonna divide it by seven because today is the seventh day of the month. So now you should be looking at a new number. That is the average of what you've done every day for the last seven days. And because March has 31 days, we're gonna take that new number and we're gonna multiply it by 31. Now the new number you're looking at is what you're on track to end the month at as a team. So based on that number, now you know if you're on track or not. Yes, it's a little early in the month, but you don't really, I mean, I hate that like there, cause obviously we're gonna have some auto ships and you know, maybe a promo or something like that. But I really hate to say that that's not a great indicator even on the seventh of the, the month because you've got a whole week of activity under you. We had a new product launch after the first of the month. So we've had a lot and we've already had one auto ship. So it's a pretty good indicator of what you're on track to end the month at. Now, why is that important? Well, if you don't know where you are, you don't know where you're gonna be. If you don't know what goal you have, then you don't even know if you're on track. So if you were like, oh yeah, I wanna lose 50 pounds, but you never check to see if the calories you were eating were causing you to lose weight, then you would have no idea. So if you tell me you wanna be 40K, but you're never checking your volume to see if you're even on track for it, well, then you have no idea. So based on the volume, if it's lower than it needs to be, we're gonna talk about all of the things to, that you can do tonight, but that be grateful that you know now on the 7th versus the 27th, that you're not where you need to be because you still have four whole weeks to, I'm sorry, <laughs> math is hard, three plus weeks to um, add new promoters, bring back old promoters, add new customers, you know, find people, all the things. So I I love Rate of Run because it will definitely help you know where you need to go. Or, and, and it won't tell you exactly what you need to do to get there, but it will tell you that you've got some, some um, miles to make up. So with that, let me move my, my office is a mess today. I, it's a mess. Like I got to get this together before tomorrow morning. Um, okay. So this week we have uh, the seventh, which is today all the way through the 14th, which will be next Sunday. So we are going to run into an auto ship on the 10th. So again, I want you guys to go ahead and write down any names of customers you have that will be auto shipping on the 10th. So to do that, you're going to go back into your cloud. You're going to go into the, my team button down to the, my customer button. And then at the very top where it says customer number, customer name, email, scroll all the way to the far right as far as you can get it to go where it says next auto ship. In the box where it says next auto ship, click that box twice and it'll populate it by date. So you wanna go through in anyone's name that you see 310 or 315. Yes, I'm jumping ahead, but I think it's okay to jump ahead when it comes to auto shippers. Anyone's name that says 310 or 315 for an auto ship, Let's write their names down right now because those are gonna be for sure contacts for us this week. All right, you guys can keep writing those down. 
Um, but so why do we write their, oh, I, I just log myself out. I hate when I do that. Um, why do we write their names down? Well, for a couple of reasons. Number one, we don't want an auto ship customer to have an order go through that they're not prepared for. Just basic. If you've ever been part of an auto ship program or an auto payment of any kind, maybe you had your electric set up on auto pay and you forgot. You guys know what a hassle that is. If suddenly you're overdrawn or suddenly you're, um, you don't have enough and they'll just flat out deny. It's just, it's, a, it's embarrassing for someone. It's a pain in the butt for somebody and it's just aggravating and we don't wanna aggravate our customers. So the first reason is we wanna know who's got auto ships coming out because we are going to let them know. Um, I actually heard, I can't think of who it was I, that I just heard. I, I don't know if it was an old recording or what, but someone was saying how, because I used to feel this way. I find it very aggravating. I will be very honest that we don't have like an automated email that goes out to our customers because I'm part of like Chewy, you know, for dog food and they send me an automated email. And at that moment, I can either ship it early or I can change and I can do all the things. But that's Chewy's customer service is their email system. Well, guess who's Lavelle's customer service? Us. That's what they pay us for. They pay us to be the customer service. So that's when I was like, oh, snap, I've got an attitude and need to drop that. <laughs> I shouldn't be aggravated that they don't send an email. I need to be aggravated myself for not sending an email. So you can do a lot of different ways. I prefer to either text or call or message the person, um, you know, with all the information, but I don't like to just contact them once a month. I just feel like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not offended that Chewy only contacts me once a month about it, but I'm not friends with the email system. So most of my customers are people who I either knew before this or I've gotten to know during this. And so I don't want them to be like, you know, she only calls me when it's time for me to spend money. So I always like to make sure at least a week or so ahead, I get on their Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or whatever it is that we're connected on. Um, or maybe it's just a friend that's not on those things. And maybe you just text back and forth about life. Um, I like to make contact with them. So those names that I just wrote down, I've got five names of people I wrote down that have auto ships coming out on the 10th or the 15th. And I'm going to start talking to them tomorrow. How was your weekend? How was the birthday party? You know, whatever the heck it is that I see them doing, or I know they've got going on. How do you feel? Or, you know, how's your mom doing? Whatever. I'm going to get those conversations started. And then after we've had some back and forth banter, I'll be like, you know what? I, you just showed up too on my list for eligibility for auto ship for the 10th, or you just showed up eligible for the auto ship on the 15th. Right now it's showing that you're going to get X, Y, Z, did you know we have a new DFT out? How about we, you know, we could swap it out now? Or you've been getting vanilla since day one, six years ago. Are you sure you don't want to try something different? Like, you know, just be like, let them know. Some people have no clue that we sell other things than what they purchase. No clue. Um, so it's your job to say, you know, based on, you know, you said you had a birthday party this weekend and it just plumb wore you out to have all those kids running around and you just couldn't believe like how they zapped it out of you. Maybe we should switch up your DFT or maybe we should, you know, maybe, maybe this person is still only doing four shakes a week. You, let's switch you to a shake every day. Like whatever it is, you're going to know based on that conversation, how you can help them. Um, so that's why I think it's so important. A, it's just pure customer service. So we don't charge people that they're not ready and B, we need to make sure. So if you've had somebody thriving with you for more than three to six months, um, especially if they're female, I can guarantee their body has changed. Like what female on here does not understand that every three to six months, does something not change? Like something random or weird. And you're like, well, that's new. So your customers are going to have the same thing. So maybe something was working really well for them early on, but maybe now they need something different, or maybe now their goals in life have changed. You know, some people start on thrive because they're like, I don't sleep good. Well, now someone might be sleeping really good and they might be moving and they're like, you know what? Now that I feel good, I think I want to, I'm, I'm going to run my first 5k. So now they have different goals with their body. So it's our job to stay connected. And to me, that's just the easiest way to do it is to just have regular conversations with them about their life. So we know what it is they're aiming for. Um, okay. So I'm going to do one quick plug for Thrive Palooza. And that is, I'm just going to throw out my, my, I don't know, my plug, I guess I'll call it again. Um, we don't still know all the information. We do know it's April 30th through May 1st. If you want to build business and, and you feel that this is something you want to do and take part of, then I encourage you to go ahead and book a room. I encourage you to be pricing out flights. Um, I cannot tell you that it that by going to Thrive Palooza, it's going to change your business because it's up to you to change your business. 
Um, all I can tell you is Thrive Palooza is, is for some of you the first time and for some of us the fourth or fifth time that you're going to be in a room with so many happy, energetic people. You're going to be in the atmosphere where you get to see the big picture. You're going to be in a room where you get to hear the CEOs talk about the product. You're going to be in a room where you get to hear top leaders talk about how they run their business. So it's the hands-on atmosphere. It's, it's the, I don't know, the vibe of the room that that's the exciting part. Um, that I think it makes it so fun and important. And then obviously after training and stuff, then you're, you're in a different location with your, um, your teammates. So you bond, you get to go have dinner, you get to stay up giggling all night, like whatever it is the heck you want to do, like you get to bond with people. So I think it's super important to go to Thrive Palooza. Now, with all of that said, like I said, I cannot guarantee it's going to change your business. I have seen people go to Thrive Palooza, come home and blow up, like just hit the ground running. And I've seen people go to Thrive Palooza and then I've never talked to them again. So I can't tell you what's going to happen. I just know that if you have like a little bit of like, oh, I think I want to go, I would tell you to start planning it now. Um, I will also tell you because of all the craziness that is going on in the world and even prior to ever hearing about the word COVID-19, they had a virtual option where you could buy an online ticket. So if you can't travel, if you're worried about traveling, if it's just not going to pan out for you, that's okay. But please do me a favor. Don't buy yourself a virtual ticket and then do your laundry and mow your yard and all the stuff while Thrive Palooza is happening. Like figure out a place where you can go that you could actually sit and be a part of it. I would love, once we get this all figured out, I would love for teams to get together, like maybe, you know, two to four to 12 people get together locally and watch it together. Because again, it's that energy. Um, but I just know like on Saturdays when they do Saturday training, I'm like, oh, I'm going to sit down and watch it. And I do, but then I squirrel, I get distracted. Like the sun shines or the, you know, I don't know, like it's hard. So if, if you are going to go the virtual route, start thinking ahead, where can I go? that I'll be by myself, it'll be quiet and I can pay attention. Um, or I can be in a place where it's a bunch of thrivers so we're all paying attention. Um, that's just something to think about. So anyway, that's my Thrive Palooza plug, I'll leave it at that. All right, so moving forward for this week, um, really the only thing I saw on the calendar, and correct me if I'm wrong, is the auto ship coming out on the 10th. I didn't notice any, um, like I didn't, a promo or anything ending, right? I'm not missing anything, am I? <laughs> I always feel like, Maybe I'm screwing something up and totally missing something. Um, obviously, we have the bonus, the rank advance bonus happening. So that's just constantly in the background. But I just want to make sure there wasn't anything I was missing. So what I like to do, especially, well, all the time, but especially when you're looking at a week where there's not like a countdown to something or like a holiday or something like that, is this is when you can really dig deep, like, because you have seven whole days of just you and your business, like no one's throwing anything at you that you have to then pivot and spin and change your plan. Like now you can actually make a plan to do all the things that you can control. So what is that that we do the best? To me, it's create conversations. That is the only thing I can truly control. I can't control what direction the conversation is going to go. I can't control if the conversation is even going to take off and run, or if it's just going to be me starting it and then crickets. I don't know, but I know that I can start the conversation. And so who are we going to talk to this week? Well, obviously, most people talk about new people. I'm going to, I'm going to go find new people. I'm going to find new people. Well, you have to meet new people to find new people, right? Like you got to meet people. So are you friending people on Facebook? Are you friending people or uh, following people on Instagram? Every single day, you got to friend people. You got to follow people. So back in the day, we used to have these things called network meetings where you had to go early in the morning and you had to wear pantyhose and all that jazz. And it was horrible and awkward. And you would meet in the back room of some restaurant and you had to like network. It was so ooey. I hated it, but we did it because I sold furniture for this place in Cincinnati. Um, ugh, ugh. All I have to do now is click a damn button. Hey man, want to be my friend? Hey, want to be my friend? Some people will say yes, some people will say no, but I don't even have to leave the house for it. And I sure as heck don't have to like sit there and be like, so what do you do for a living? So what is your name? So where do you live? Like, oh, it was so horrible. Um, but set yourself a goal. Are you finding five to 10 new people a day to connect with? If you're not, then that means you are just literally circling the same toilet bowl every damn day. Oh, I, people say, I, I hear it all day long. No one's responding. Well, go talk to somebody new. 
if if the, if the 50 people you talked to last week aren't responding, then you got to go find a live one someplace else. So don't keep talking to the same 50 people. Go find somebody new. Go join a new group. Or if you're in a group on Facebook or, or some other type of social media, start finding those people and friending them. Don't just be in the group. Reach out. Hey, you're in the you're in the golden retriever group with me. And I've just, I've noticed that you love your dog. And I noticed that you love to go on beach vacations. And that's so much like me. I just thought maybe we connect, could connect on Facebook, whatever, however you want to say it. But like, I think we're all eager to do the minimum, right? We're eager to send our messages to people we already know. We're eager to participate in our groups that we're already in, but you have to go the next step. You can't just talk to people, you know, you have to meet new people. You have to inter actually connect fully with people in your groups. Um, and then there's an entire, uh, and I'll talk about this and in, in, um, let me see real quick. So, okay, we're good. Um, there's an entire other group, several groups of people, not even on social media necessarily that you could be talking to that you may not even be aware of or that you have forgotten about or you just don't think about. Um, number one, those are your existing customers. Now, when I say existing customers, most people are only talking to their auto shippers or the people who just ordered. If you go into your cloud where we just went, you'll go into your cloud under the team button, under the my customer button, there's gonna be a bunch of people in there who maybe ordered five years ago, five months ago, who never ordered. When, you, when people say, I don't know who to talk to this week, you have a whole cloud full of existing customers. You also have an entire cloud full of your team. When you go into the debt to the team button and into the my team to the my sponsorship downline, the first group of people it's going to show you are people who you personally signed up. Same thing. Some of them may have disappeared five years ago, but you still have them that you can connect with. So, so don't look at me and say you don't know who to talk to. <laughs> And then the other group of people that I don't think that, and I just had a conversation with a promoter on a team about this this morning, which is what made me think about this. You have team members and customers that you don't know. I have team members that I don't know. They're under somebody that's under somebody that's under somebody. I've never met them a day in my life. They never got put into a group chat or maybe they did, but maybe they're, maybe they're so far down my line that their group, their, their uplines are, they don't need me in the group chat. So I've just never met these people. Um, and maybe you have customers who ordered one time under somebody that was under somebody, but those two people left and now there's just customers names out there floating. Um, you can, you can contact all of those people because here is what I'm going to tell you. And I want you all to remember this, your downlines, customers, and your downlines, team members are your downline. That is your team. So when somebody flies the coop or somebody drops off the face of the earth, those people are floating down there with no one. Like, I know we talk a lot about like, if you, as a promoter, if your upline leaves and you're orphaned, well, guess what? You have people in your downline that have probably been orphaned, customers or promoters. So it's your job to dig into there. Um, there is a really, now there's, so there's a good report. It's called your sponsor's report. It's in your cloud. It can be overwhelming because it's huge, but um, it's, if you go to the report, like the main menu and you go to reports and you click sponsors report, that's gonna pull up your first four levels. That's your, that's all the people. And it gives you um, the email address and telephone number. So I know a lot of times we're like, yeah, she signed up under so-and-so, but then so-and-so left and I don't know. You have her phone number and you have her email. Now it's up to you. So, Again, you have people you could be talking to. And, you know, I'm not saying you guys have to contact and be like, oh, hey, I know Bobby, blah, 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 whatever, quit and left you high and dry. So if you need anything, no. All you have to do is say, hey, you're in my downline through Lavelle. I just came across your name in one of my reports and I realized I've never met you. My name is Tammy. How long have you been thriving? And you guys, you're going to know. Like, you may already know that they haven't ordered in three years. That's okay. Play dumb. Let them say, oh, I haven't ordered in forever. I hated it. It turned my eyes green. I loved it, but I couldn't afford it. Um, the, when the girl left, I didn't know who to get it from. Like there, there's so many answers to the question. And yes, some people are not going to respond. So what do we do when they don't respond? 
we just go talk to someone else. We just keep talking and talking and talking. You just, oh, that's a direct message. I'm learning. I'm learning not to answer the direct messages live on the thing. <laughs> I will read it in a minute. Um, so yeah, so there's so much information or so many, like there's so much information in your cloud of people you can be talking to. Um, and I, I mean, I know, like, I know I have a lot of, um, I don't know, MIA promoters in my downline, people that were, you know, hot to trot, build a team and then flew the coop. And it's my mission every day to find somebody who is like floating out there lost because there's a lot of people floating out there lost and they can, here's the thing. If they love thrive, they will eventually find it with someone else. So we might as well keep them on the team that we have, right? We might as well keep them here and take care of them. Um, and there could be, there could at this rate, being in this almost six years at this rate, there could be people who are completely inactive and free to sign back up under somebody. I don't know, but if I'm not going through the reports, I'm never gonna know some of these people. So yeah, I know it's awkward to have a conversation with a stranger, but here's the thing. If you put your, if you put your, um, like your corporate hat on, if you were the big CEO of a company and you had a, a manager and then a manager, manager, and then another manager, and then the person on the floor, and then the blah, blah, you would reach down and be like, oh, hey, new girl, I'm the owner of the company. It's so nice to meet you, right? And that would mean a lot to that person that you took the time to meet them instead of sitting in your office high up. So same thing. Don't be the, don't be the upline that doesn't get to know people. Um, you know, you don't have to be everyone's friend and I'm not saying everyone's going to like you back. I'm just saying if you, you can only control what you do. So once you send the message introducing yourself and offering them help, if they respond, great. If they don't, you did your part. That's, I, I like to go to bed every night knowing I did my part. Does that make sense? Like I, I can't control how people are going to respond to me or to the business or whatever, but I know what I can control. And that is me doing my work. I read a, a quote and of course I'll screw it up, but it was something like everything you want is on the other side of consistency, which I was like, oh, smack. <laughs> you know, there are days I don't want to do all this stuff either, but I like those paychecks. So I do it. That's all there is to it. No, yes, no stone unturned. Absolutely. I would prefer this. I don't look at my email. Shantae, I miss this. I re oh, I don't know. What do you mean you would prefer what? What did I say or do? I'm sorry. I was just referring to the beginning part of when you were talking about touching base with everybody. I don't always check my email. So I would prefer to reach out to people on messenger or text version. Okay. okay. Yeah, absolutely. I'm the same way. Um, I actually have like this unwritten hierarchy in my head somewhere. If you, if you call me, I answer well, unless I'm, you know, with a client or whatever. Um, if you text me, I'm more than likely going to answer. If you message me, I'm probably going to answer. If you email me, I don't know. I may not see it for a couple of days. <laughs> Because like just there's so many emails that hit during the day, and I do take the time every every probably every six to eight weeks to go in and unsubscribe from, from stuff and try to clean up my email as often as possible. Um, but yeah, so like back to that sponsors report, you have people's cell phone number, so you could hey, call Amy. through the voicemail. Yes, I wanted to add to that. Um, I was going through my back office a few days ago, and I found a girl in there who had created account. And I looked all over for her on Facebook. I couldn't find her on Facebook. So she didn't verify her number, but her email was there. So I sent an email and told her who I was and why I was contacting her and asked her if she had any questions. She responded like, eh, it was like the next day, but she was like, yes, thank you so much because I have like $300 in my cart and I don't know what I'm doing. See? So I assumed she was getting the couples pack, but she wasn't. So I don't know what all this girl had in her cart. She couldn't figure out how to even pull it up and show me. And I was like, well, let's just empty your cart. Like let's if this isn't back. for <laughs> you and your husband, and this is just for you, 300 is too much. So let's en empty your cart. So, um, but I did a, an old fashioned three-way call with Samantha because this girl doesn't do Facebook. So sometimes the emails that does help. Yes, absolutely. Um, so what Edie's is talking about, at least I'm 99% sure this is like, if you're a 12K or above, if somebody is like, I've heard of Thrive, I want to order it and they get online and they just go to Lavelle to order it, they will get the option to pick a promoter within their area. Although I get some really like far, far away people.
people. So I'm not sure about the whole area part. Yeah, that's um, what happened. Lavelle referred her, Lavelle picked me. And okay. she's somewhere in North Carolina, South Carolina. Yeah, see to me, that's not like in the area, but that's cool, we'll take them. Um, and when you, so it's like, you know how like when you sign somebody up for a customer account and it's like, oh, congratulations, Tammy, you just signed up a new Thriver. You'll get an email like that and you'll be like, uh huh, I didn't do it. I don't know who this person is, but it'll tell you their name and their email. And that's all you have in that situation. Now, to me in that situation, if I'm someone and I'm signing up for a product or a company that I've never signed up before, I'm probably looking for an email. I'm looking for something to come back to me. So yeah, as soon as you get those, I highly recommend that you respond with who you are, how excited you are for them that they've decided to you know, make this jump and that you are ready to help them make the decision. Because some people, I actually had a guy order a bunch of product one time before I even could e finish my email. So I don't know, I don't know why or what he picked. But anyway, in that case, Edie actually caught the lady in time to help her pick the right things. Because, you know, I mean, there's lots of times in life where I've been like, oh, that looks, I don't know, especially on freaking social media, I'll get like an ad that keeps popping up and I'm like, oh, that looks exciting. And then I get into like the actual website and I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to order. I don't know what to order. I'm not sure how to do this. So you either are going to log out and walk away, or in that case, the lady was going to order way too much stuff and probably not feel good and then be super disappointed and tell everybody Thrive didn't work. So yeah, again, that goes back to us being customer service that we have got to use the information that we have to reach out to talk to people. Um, but I do recommend if you get someone's cell phone number, I just think a text message is just, I think you're going to get a quicker response. Um, or at least for me, you would, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. So really, I just gave you so many options to write names down that you should have enough names to talk to for at least seven to 21 days, depending on how long you've been in here and how big your downline is. So let's break it up instead and kind of like, um, instead of getting caught up in all your existing customers or something like that, let's make an aim for adding five new people a day, whether you're doing it from Facebook or Instagram or however, adding, um, well, that's, that's like the meeting new people. And then as far as like actually conversations with people, I would say create uh, it just, again, it depends on what you guys are doing anywhere from five to 10 conversations with new people, like potential people. Um, and then I would say two existing customers, two team members, or uh, sorry, two existing customers and two existing team members. So in other words, people on your team that you know, customers on your team that you know, that haven't ordered in forever. They're not new and potential. So they're not PPA and they're not as exciting, but you still need to talk to them. And then two team members that you don't know and two customers that you don't know because you guys know you know who's on your downline that's disappeared right i mean you know you know if someone dropped off the face of the earth if you don't go look at their qv and their pv and you'll be like oh clearly they've dropped off the face of the earth so you can reach out to them and then you can even look into their downline and reach out to those people and those people and those people so i would set that up like i would and again i'm just giving you an example depending on how quickly you want to grow your business Maybe you're like, no, I'm going to talk to five existing customers and five existing team members a day, and I'm making 20 conversations with potentials. I am all for it. The more, the merrier. I'm just, I just think instead of saying, okay, Tammy said, talk to existing customers, and you spend the next seven days, like just split it up, like keep it, keep it spicy, keep it spicy, split it up and keep it spicy. Um, okay, does anybody have any questions for me? Any or questions for anybody really? Uh, all of that will give you a ton of names. Yes, there's always someone to talk to. Absolutely. Um, oh, and Miss Sherry, that direct message. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, there's always someone to talk to, always. And as a matter of fact, I'll just openly, at, I'll invite, I feel like it's mainly my team on here right now, but tomorrow night we're on our dream team, Zoom. We are gonna have a conversation about ego and how that can really stop your business. Um, so you guys are all welcome to participate if you'd like. Just just send me a message and I'll give you the link for our, our private Dream Team Zoom. Um, but I've done a lot of thinking and researching because of an event that happened to me and like, wow, wow, I've got a lot to share. So anyway, if you guys don't have any questions about the upcoming week, spend this calm-ish week focused on people, humans. Focus on humans because humans are who purchase our product. <laughs> Humans are who we help. So focus on humans and then just be ready. I, I'm hoping tomorrow 
I'm gonna throw that into either. I'm hoping tomorrow's when the Thrive Palooza tickets come out. I'm hoping that's when the agenda comes out so we can all start making plans. Um, but I don't know, I have no idea. I do know that according to FedEx or, U UPS or USPS that my Thrive Against Cancer DFT is supposed to come tomorrow. So that's all I really know about life. And at the rate USPS is working, I don't know if that's actually gonna happen, but we'll try. So, okay, well, I will let you guys go. If you need anything, let me know. And if you wanna be on the Zoom tomorrow and you're not on my uh, personal downline, let me know.